Blessed day, my people say, so in today's video, we're going to talk about some sad news in relation to a popular dancehall artist we get caught up and taken out. This artist, some of you might be familiar with him because the artist have sung with uh, Malidan, he have sung with Daddy One. So, you don't know he's an artist, so some of you might know. So, I'm going to actually talk about it and give you know, some more information, is it? Also, we're going to talk about Futa Hype reacting to Bujubantan, getting back his US visa, which a lot of persons is shocked by, you know? <laughs> so, I'm going to play the video with Futa Hype. And also we're going to talk about Minister Marianne Hall, formerly known as Lady Sa, who basically says she get a little, you know, fired from the judge in relation to a case that happened some years ago where a dog, well, fear dog did must bite up some helper. So, you know, it's like she said one at a time, then the judge... I tell her if you sell the house, then no one next judge I tell her if you sell the house. And then it seemed like she got a court most of today, and that judge kind of give her a warm time in relation to selling the house. So, may I play the video and we're going to talk about it. You understand, my people? Also, we're going to talk about Bojo Bantan, Shensia, Shaggy, among others, music that recently got back on TikTok. Because I remember them, they basically get pulled from TikTok because of a disagreement between TikTok and one of them big companies. They understand? Also, we're going to talk about Bounty Killer. This is a fan who suggests that he is bleaching his skin and also we're gonna talk about some sad news that we're getting as it relates to a tiktoker reportedly being carned up and taken up by her man because she refused to give him some nookie yes my people so very sad situation so we'll talk about it later down in this video is it also we're gonna talk about female entertainer vanessa bling investing in real estate and also we're gonna talk about russian and his ex-friend crime minister gets into a big argument again on instagram also we're gonna talk about Rigging king get a shaka from the soldier who helped to save his life when he got conned up and also we're gonna talk about some very sad news i may say in relation to an 80 year old woman 18 of people, 80 year old woman who life was recently taken in Senton and it seemed like the man them who do that, them also R-A-P-E, -E, the woman, boy oh boy. Anyway my people, before I go no further into the topics, don't forget for like, share and subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram page, MixUpTime4, but I definitely appreciate that. Alright people, so the first thing we're going to talk about is some breaking news in relation to a popular dancehall artist that was kind up and taken out, is it? And the artist we're talking about is an artist named Dan Brent, someone who might hear about him some some of you might never hear about him before you see it but the artists have sung with some popular entertainers as me said daddy one of one of them um him have sung with our video me should i say with molly dan and you know it's, it seemed like he's an artist where you know a lot of the mobby artists them you know link with and thing based on the type of songs them are the artists them we have sung with you see it so anyway the information we'll get a forward over from um this is a blast page on Instagram. You know that page I always get some exclusive and for them information I always they on top, you see it. Anyway, so it's a photo of a dancehall artist said to be known as Dan Brent, who was reportedly SHOT by unknown assailant sometime on Wednesday in Green Pond Mobile, you see it. So it seemed like him even come from Montego Bay, I don't know. I don't know if I same come from. I'm just live down this and now. I don't know, but you know, I don't have more be them say it happen. So, you know, I don't know for some people, you see. I just there for giving you the news. Only thing I can say is a very unfortunate situation, you know. One more life get taken out, you see. So, very sad situation, you know. Hopefully, the police can find who is behind this. Um, you know, I'm not there for try find a clues or if you say whether or not the artist are in a data or this and that. I don't know. I'm not here to be an, an, an investigator, you see it. But anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Futa Hype reacting to Bujubant and getting his visa, you understand? And like I said, a lot of persons I wonder how Bujubant and get back him US visa even before some entertainers we never got prison before, we never get catch. Or, uh, yeah, whenever I get catch with the white substance, because, you know, me the one say allegedly, but you know, Bujubantan served many years for the white lady, Zine. So, you know, one of the artists, them, where people confuse how him not get film US visa yet, but Bujo come and get it before him, is obviously Popcorn. I talked about it in our video yesterday, you see it. So, Futa Hype goes up, woman go live now, and then you know, I'm a shame view span it and thing. I actually jump in at that video here now, and as usual, my people, only can tell me anything about this in the comment section, you see it. Mm -hmm. Girl, Galaxy P, my brother, Zara Kid, you don't know. Big up. Mark Myrie. A.K.A. Bujubanta. 
go viral today. The whole world of Christians. You know, I notice with Jamaican people, when you don't listen, you see, if I not gossip and mix up, when you don't listen. I can say something to you now, and it's going go over some on the head. See? Someone, you know, they go fly over on the brain. Because when you don't listen and retain nothing when we talk. No phone, you not see where I go on. Because you know the mindset of a slave. Bujibantan create history to the air. Big, big history go on to the. Big up Bujibantan. And big up Chief Curry. I'm not going to really talk too much. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to say much, but in the soon no, a history created today here. Yeah, man, so that's what's going on. That's our foot of hype, officer. And I guess Bojo getting back his visa, it might be deeper than a lot of persons really understand. Yes, you know what I'm um, Only can tell me why anything Bojo get back in visa, is it? I did hear them say something, say, um, after 10 years, you can, like, ask feedback or 15 years or something like that. But Bojo has not been freed from prison 10 years yet. And that's the thing. I know 10 years since them release him, so... I don't know still, is it? I guess if we will find out, we will find out. But only can tell me anything about this in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Minister Marian Hall, formerly known as Lady Sa, who went to court. And basically, you know, she never get the outcome she want in relation to her house. Now, I remember some time ago, she did have a dog who did bite up her helper. I don't know much I want to remember that story there. And it's like, you know, them did order for sell her house. One bag of things, my people, see, in fact some compensation and thing. As a matter of fact, before I play the video with her, I'm going to run through that article here quick and fast so I can kind of, you know, refresh your brain a little bit, Zane. So, that story I did come out, as I said, some time ago, and it said, Lady saw property up for sale to compensate helper after dog bite. A sentence property belonging to Minister Marian Hall, formerly Lady saw, is now being advertised for sale to recover $3 million ordered by the Supreme Court in compensation for a 68-year-old woman who has been by the entertainer's dog in September 2009. In June 2020, the court ordered that the property must not be sold for less than $60 million on the open market to settle the judgment. Hall was also given an option to pay the award in installments. The court said she could pay $1 million before July the 30th, 2020 to the claimant's attorney and then agreed to a payment plan for the balance of the money. The senior citizen who is suffering financial hardship because she cannot work as a result of the injuries has so far received no money. Attorney Jacqueline Cummings, who is representing the dog bite victim, said the property has been listed for sale since 2020, but to date, there have been no buyers. Dorothy Wilson filed a suit in March 2010, seeking damages for injuries she suffered from dog bites when she went to Hall's home in Chancery Hall, St. Andrew, as a helper. While walking in the yard, Wilson was A-T-T-A-C-A-K-E-D by the dogs. She stated in her claim that Hall was the owner and breeder of the dogs, in particular pit bulls. Wilson said Hall was negligent because she failed to lock away the dogs when she knew or ought to have known that they would rush her. She suffered injuries to her hands and her left leg and is unable to work. There was an assessment of damages in October 2015 and Wilson was awarded a total of $3 million with interest. Hall was not present at the hearing and was not represented. In June 2020, the Supreme Court, after hearing legal arguments from the attorneys representing the Parties order that a property in Senton, which is part of Upton and Burnham Spring, be sold to settle the judgment debt. The court set the remuneration for estate agent dealing with the sale at 3.5 percent. The claimant's attorneys, Archer Cummings and Company, is said to have carriage of sale of the property. The court ordered. So that's what's going on. So it seemed like Minister Marian Hall went to court, must say, two days or yesterday. And, you know, the judge kind of give her a warm time. So let me actually get to that video now. And as usual, my people, only can tell me anything about this. Mm -hmm. Yes, people of God. Then, you know, no say another judge just, I just leave court. I just leave court. Mm -hmm. And I broke down in the court. 
I, I broke down in the court a while ago. I broke down and I, I cry. And I tell the judge, another judge, no, they keep changing judge. One judge said to sell my house. They said they, no, then they said they don't, but I want to sell the house after a few years. Another judge, the last time, she, she was, she was nice, but this judge had a attitude from start. And I broke down in that court. I broke down in court because from a go, from an enter. I apologize to the judge, you know, because I didn't know to get on the Zoom. I offer them, listen to people of God, let me tell you, they want six million. And a judge give them the right to sell my house, yeah? And even when they have the house and the title and everything and it's signed off, he still allow them to be taking almost a thousand Jamaican every day, no matter how long. Them have the house for you know what happened with this judge a while ago she gave the man the man come this time i don't know where the other woman is who start the whole evil that lawyer I don't see her fair a, a little while this man asked the judge to sell my land now him asked for my land to sell and the judge give him the right to sell my land i tell him take it i tell the judge take it sell it because we live in hurt with nothing. Naked we come on this earth. We leave it. Nothing we going to carry with us. So she now give him the right. I offer two more million. That somebody giving me right. So that means. They got. They got. Um, 1.5 million. Jamaican. They got 450 Jamaican and they got a 10,000 US that like a little, just a little fee came out, came out of that. So that means they get like 3.5 million something or 3.4 something, right? And I was offering them the 2 million. So that would be 5.5 somewhere there and some. Instead of taking the money, the man, they said they're not taking the money. They want my property to sell. And yeah, so now it's from house to land. Sell any land you want. It's, it's not my land. Do you think it's your land? It's not your land. No matter what you buy on earth, you don't own it. Yeah? We all gonna live here. Yeah, man. So that's what's going on, my people. Only can tell me anything about the whole situation here, you know. Hopefully, Minister Marianne Hall get through this because you can't sit on her face. She's just frustrated because obviously, I fear deal with different, different people and them things. You understand, my people? So I don't know, but I guess we'll hear if the property will be sold. You understand? No less than sixty million dollars. So, make a watch and see. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Bounty Killer. This is up a fan who basically suggesting that the entertainer is bleaching his skin. And, of course, Bounty Killer and the word bleaching definitely don't go well together. You see, so you can understand why the entertainer upset. Anyway, let me get to this article so I understand what's going on. Is it? So, it's a Bounty Killer offloads and a fan who suggests he is bleaching his skin. Bounty Killer issued a saucy clapback at a fan who suggests that he is bleaching his skin. The dancer legend recently got back his official Instagram account. is very active on the social media platform using his backup account. Last week, Bounty Killer, who is famous for wearing all black, posted a photo of himself wearing all white, including a white Prada t-shirt and white joggers. Bad in a black, bad in a white, bad pan any black, killer bad as him like. He wrote, the bo 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 DJ tattoos on his hand were visible as he done sunglasses even though it appeared to be nighttime in the background. One of his followers chimed in on the comments suggesting that killer is bleaching his skin you start to bleach and tattoo the fan wrote bounty killer issued a safe response indicating that he wasn't amused by the suggestion just like your mom thumbs up emoji bounty killer wrote other fans commented bounty killer for changing up his style and some folks even praised him for taking care of his health the general looked like 25 years old one general one fan wrote to which killer responded clean hands and a pure heart bounty 
Killer, who turns 52 in June this year, is one of the longest running active dancehall artists in the game. After rising to prominence in the early 1990s with a slow of hits, the DJ cemented his legacy in the 2000s when he helped usher in a new generation of artists that would go on to become household names like Busy Signal, Movado, and Vibes Cartel. Although his former protege, Vibes Cartel, became famous for bleaching his skin in the late 2000s, Bounty Killer is clearly not a fan of skin bleaching, given his response to the fan in his comments. During a performance at Margarita Villa in Montego Bay in 2011, the warlord called out Cartel for bleaching his skin. I can't believe the Cartel are bleached out in face. I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe my eyes kill a DJ on stage while changing up the lyrics to his hit single. Can't believe my eyes, produced by Dave Kelly. The incarcerated DJ has never been shy about bleaching his skin and even recorded a song, Cake Soap, endorsing the trend in Jamaican culture. Bounty Killer and Vibes Cartel have since made amends following their fallout in the mid 2000s. So, yeah, my people, Bounty Killer just want to make it clear, say, no matter how you see him look on a photo, no skin bleaching to him, to him thing. You see it? So, that's what's going on. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Russian and him one time friend, Kansi, our crime minister, some people call him, basically getting into it yesterday. Now, remember some time ago, Russian did do an interview with Jeffrey, right? I'm not telling you how it started in case you know, don't know why they even uh, have them like a beef now. But obviously, you know, things that they from in the past, because them obviously are not friends from a good while now. But anyway, um, Russian did do an interview with Jeffrey, and you know, he must call Crime Minister Hype Man, Crime Minister Feel Away, and him go up on live, and you know, him say some things. Now, one of the things them him say is that Russian a run back to the Jamaican artist them because not now go and film on the Latin market. Because Russian definitely make him name in the Latin um, area, you know, the Latin market. Them respect Russian over there. Now, Russian goes so boom and posted a little clip of Crime Minister saying that, but him also posted a song we are going well film now in the Latin market, number 12 in the world. So, I actually shown you that post there. Um, I shown you that video there, and then I shown you a Russian um, posting the caption, and then I go show you what Crime Minister had to say in response to the post a Russian mix. So, check out that clip here, my people. When you see Russian run, come back and dance all now, eh? I have no energy, my chai tea for a leak out, because I'm not nah, going to put in a fire. You see, Spanish man, I'm done with him. Five hours later. Oh, now I'm recover from that. <laughs> yeah, man, you can't see Russian even put the clone face. <laughs> Russian put the clone face emoji <laughs> yo Jaja he put the clone face emoji over him you understand so in the caption Russian say number 12 in the world God is great hashtag don't stop when the haters hate so that's what Russian have to say um, we even see the girl named Akbar where used to come I think she was still coming along and hip hop you see me she even comment and you don't know she's comment and say not now go on for real with a question sign and some laughing emojis and Russian respond and say nada. Him even pin her comment. Anyway, um so I suppose when Russian made that post there, well the people start talking crime minister and this is exactly what he had to say in response to this more people. Don't care about none of them fish, them and I call them name them I call up my name cause they want me to say back something so them can't fall back now the algorithm. You not see them dead out from what they are. Nobody now nah use them again in the blind. But when the minister talk, I want twenty thousand people watch my story every day. A, you don't notice somebody every two days on Instagram like that from what they are. You know Instagram I get lame and them realize say yo a beer fish fish. When you mix up, mix up and, and bump on something that I'm not really dip on it to the owner again. You yeah, no phone no, no can't be trusted. You understand? Them people are them youth, they are youth to paint him fingernails and ray and bad bunny and the whole of them fish. They only no, 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 can't put two and two together. Me no I see them. Them reach with them reach and them hurting them people. That's not what we are all about over here. So please, I don't care if them calling my name, them remember me, I don't remember them. Bum buckler don't know. Yeah, man, so according to him, I'll be a fish out thing I go on for some people reach where them reach. So I guess he's trying to say that Russian do some little shaky thing for reach where him reach and all of that. So I don't know my people, you know. It's kind of sad to see them two brothers where I come from so far, you know, fall out and whatever it may be, you see. But 
I just say it go. I know everybody who start with you, I got to end up finish with you. Is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is female artist Vanessa Bling who announced that she's gone in a real estate now. She not left music, you know, people, but for your invest in a real estate, that is a sure money, even more sure than even some bookings and them thing there. But anyway, this is what the article says in Vanessa Bling invest in real estate. Female dancer, singer, slash DJ Vanessa Bling has ventured into real estate and Wednesday she shared her thoughts on acquiring real estate along with multiple pictures of herself at a property in Miami. She wrote, purchasing real estate is the way to go. She also used the following hashtag Hashtag real estate mogul, hashtag Miami, Florida, hashtag here to stay, hashtag chosen along with. Vanessa Bling is partnering with Miami Condo Investment, the leading real estate firm in Miami. While not giving much details about the venture, one of her shared pictures showed the seemingly showed her seemingly celebrating. With this latest move, Vanessa Bling, formerly Gaza Slim, whose real name is Vanessa Sadler, diversifies her professional portfolio with music still seeming being at the forefront so yeah my people it's a good look you see me she can't lose when it comes to real estate can't lose this is definitely a good move big up yourself vanessa bling and just go on dating as it anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is bob marley sean paul shensia among some other persons whose music was recently removed from tiktok is now back on tiktok you understand as tiktok and one of them big company there reach an agreement a settlement um so the article is saying bob marley shaggy sean paul and shensia music back on tiktok as umg reaches new licensing deal tiktok and umg reach new licensing deal benefiting bob marley bojo bantan beanie man shaggy sean paul shensia massacre and a host of reggae dancehall artists over 1000 artists songwriters and labels see their music reintroduced to tiktok vast global audience exceeding 1 billion users both umg and tiktok release a statement on the new New comprehensive licensing agreement on Thursday, May the 2nd. This comes two months ago. UMG pulled all their songs from the video sharing platform, overrides issues relating to artificial intelligence, among other things, leveraging TikTok cutting edge technology and unparalleled marketing capabilities. The agreement promises enhanced compensation for UMG songwriters and artists, along with novel avenues for promoting and engaging with their music. Sir Lucian Grange, chairman and CEO of U. Universal Music Group articulated the significance of this alliance, emphasizing its focus on music's intrinsic value, the essence of artistic expression, and the well-being of the creative community. This new chapter in our relationship with TikTok focuses on the value of music, the primary of human artistry, and the welfare of the creative community. We look forward to collaborating with the team at TikTok to further the interests of our artists and songwriters and drive innovation innovation in fan engagement while advancing social music monetization. He said, Shao Chu, CEO of TikTok, echoed these sentiments, underlining music's integral role within the TikTok ecosystem and the platform commitment to mutual growth and promotion with UMG. Music, music is an integral part of the TikTok ecosystem, and we are pleased to have found a path forward with the Universal Music Group. We are committed to working together to drive value discovery and promotion for all of umg's amazing artists and songwriters and deeper their ability to grow connect and engage with the tiktok community Chu said the agreement herald the return of umg extensive catalog to tiktok offering users the opportunity to create content featuring music from globally acclaimed artists as well as emerging talents people may not read no more because the article it, it's a decent length but basically all of the people them who for music they get pulled gone back on it now you understand so i guess this is a good look for like shensia bujo well if the artist them being a man and you understand so just make you know what's going on anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is some sad news my people in relation to a 80 year old woman 80 year old woman that was taken out in a sentence you see so oh boy let me get to that article here so i understand what's going on all right 
So it's an eight-year-old woman taken out in Sentan. The police in Sentan are probing a case of MURDER and RSA in relation to the taking out of an eight-year-old woman in Spring Garden in Bambo on, on Wednesday. The deceased has been identified as Sylvia Barrett. The police report that about 6.15 p.m., fire was seen coming from Barrett's house by her granddaughter who lives next door. An alarm was raised and the police and the fire department were called. Residents including Barrett's granddaughter, Try to get rid of the blaze. Firefighters who arrived on the scene conducted a cooling down operation. The police say the damage house was checked and the elderly woman BODY was seen in the dining room lying on its BACK with both hands TIED above her HEAD with an orange colored electrical double IRE and her feet TIED with the same color wire. People, sorry, me, they have to spell out them thing because you know YouTube stay. Anyway, they further say she also had what appeared to be female clothing TIED to her hand over her FACE and her feet. She also had what appeared to be light scratches from the fire on her body. The scene was processed by forensic experts and visited by other police personnel from the Sentan Division. The investigation is being carried out by detectives from the Sentan's Bay Criminal Investigation Branch. Very sad thing, my people, man, I lie. Yo, people can't say wicked 80. Yo, I don't condone say even if it's a younger person them for doing it, you know, but my gosh, man. Boy, I don't know. I don't know. Trust me. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And the next thing we're going to talk about is a female, I guess she's known on TikTok, named Stephanie Bellavoix, something like something. I don't know if I pronounce her name good, but some reports have surfaced now on the internet and it has come from over TikTok. And it come from also Republic of Moby, you say, our boyfriend, you know, corner up, well, corner in the neck after she refused to sleep with him, basically, you understand? Very sad situation, my people, you know, are from what? Yesterday, I think yesterday the news come out and, you know, we say Republic of Moby post it today, Zin, it come out from Pink Wall first and it come out from... Um, Republic of Moby and it seems like there's a video out seeing over there. Now go look for the video people if I guess if you want to see it, you know. They even know why somebody would have wanted that, but you know people still know them always are rush for see them type of thing here. But anyway my people, that's how I gonna know about the unfortunate situation here, is it? So only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Raigin King, who recently did it on live, and a soldier man must reach out to him, and allegedly this soldier man must say help save Raigin King life. You understand? According to the soldier man, while Raigin King, after Raigin King get can up, Zane, you know, remember sometime ago the entertainer they can up, which is why Raigin King in a um, wheelchair and things in. So I guess when them carry Ragging King at the hospital, according to the soldier man, some man did have a forward for get rid of the entertainer or something like that. So I actually leave you with a clip. You can watch it, my people, and you can tell me anything. But before I play the clip here, don't forget to like the video, my people. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't do that yet. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4. But I definitely appreciate that. And respect to everybody who watch the video. Is it? I'm out. May I show you how I am? Motivator to me. The day when I get me, I want a soldier that must save a life. Yeah. Yes, me. The day, the day when I get yeah. Me they always smell and I work at the funeral. The done the funeral, we did a go on and them say holy for retaliation and I go on and thing. Hey. So what do you say you do? Because I don't know what go on enough. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what you do? You don't story of what go on. Yeah, yeah. Who I know the point? Yeah. You see what's on the wall? Yeah, may I tell you what go on? We did it and them say a bug a rich and a go on and thing. You see me? And we did on the ground, bro. So we never, so when everything done, we left. And when we left, the whole f***er go on. Yes, when you reach a sub hospital before the whole chopper take you up and bring you come in that town. A whole heap of man who come in the hospital come to see him here, bro. Believe. No man, can't, no, no man never want to do that, bro. 
Yeah. Listen, a man. Bro, let's let's listen, listen, man. Watch out. Now. Watch out. Now. King, listen, listen to me now. Me have one. Me have one. Watch out, bro. Watch out. More wild people get misconfused or mis misconcept. You see me? You see me show you this, dog. You see me now? I'm show you what happened to me. Unfortunate situation happened to me. You see what me I say? No, no, me just no. there. What you know? Me just there at the wrong place at the wrong time. No, me know what and, I'm and, going. Know exactly what I'm going. And by the end of the day, it wasn't supposed to happen to me, but God know the reason why. He make no. me survive and he make it happen. You see me? I feel sure whole heap of people a lot of things. You see me? I feel sure people a lot of ways. I feel I feel empower people, and that's exactly. what I'm doing. So. You see, you see, and, exactly. And, and, you know, more on your talk, your point, you know, really reach to your point, you know. Listen, Get your man. point across, bad boy. You see, exactly the same thing we you say, where God say, make you survive and you're there, so for sure, your point. Yeah. May I show you, say, the same day when we're there at the hospital, bro, the same night.